Hi there, Sage from Keeper. Welcome back to another video. As we wrap up May, which is crazy to think about and start June, we wanted to make this video focus on some best practices going into the next month's close. So we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all future releases. If you've got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments section below. Also, check out the Help Center by clicking on the purple widget. Feel free to send us a message as well. And check out the description of this video because we're going to include some links covering some of the subjects we talk about today. Without further ado, let's get started. The first tip is to make sure that you are starting next month's close, you are signing due dates, and you're using the status column on the main dashboard. So important to note that in the beginning of each new month, in this case, what will be June, you're going to notice that there's a plus sign to the right of the close column. Once you select that, it'll automatically start the next month's close for you. Now the due date is also something we wanna make sure we take care of. In this case, if I sign the 30th as when I'm aiming to complete the close, once I start next month's close, it'll automatically roll over. And the status column is super helpful to help you and your team understand exactly where you are in the month that it close. So don't forget to use those right here. The second tip is gonna be on the close page. So you're gonna click on the client from the main dashboard and it'll redirect you here. And what we want to think about on the close page is making sure that we're marking our tasks off as we're working through them. So for example, once you've made sure transactions in the bank feed are coded, make sure you check that off. And if you haven't or forgot to, you can always check that off later on. If there's any task that let's say you didn't complete, but you still want to mark off, you can always mark it as canceled. Instead, that will do an X instead of the green check mark. Now, the other things that you want to make sure you do is assign due dates. You can click into the drop down date, either select a specific date or you can select a business day. And you want to make sure that you are assigning it to the right person. Now, all of this can be done in bulk as well. So if you click on the three dots right here, you have the ability to bulk assign the tasks to the same person or bulk assign the due dates. So making sure you do that is going to be super helpful, especially because next month's close, these tasks are going to roll over. So whoever they're assigned to will continue to roll over and the dates that you assign will continue to roll over for the appropriate close. Our third tip is to make the close page work for you. And what I mean by that is either adding or removing tasks and reports that you need or don't need. So we're going to take the account reconciliation section as the example. And if there's any account that you do not reconcile, then it has no business being here. So what we want to do is you want to click on the task and you're going to select delete the reconciliation task. That way it's removed from this list and it will no longer show up next month. Now, vice versa, let's say you want to add an account, maybe a loan account or due to from, because those are examples of accounts that Keeper doesn't add by default. Then what you want to do is you want to add the task in the bottom left corner of the account reconciliation section. And from here, you'll be able to select from a drop down of options. Once you've added that, that one will also continue to show up month over month until you decide to delete it. Now, you can also do this for any of the other reports. You can also do this for any of the tasks and you can easily add them just like that. Make sure that you assign the due date, choose who it's assigned to, just like we were talking about earlier and you are well on your way. Our fourth tip is going to take us to the tasks tab in Keeper, something that you can access in the top left corner of the client list. But if you're on the close page like we are, you can access that by clicking on the drop down in the top left and selecting tasks. This is going to show you an overview of every task that is either assigned to everyone across the board or specifically assigned to you. And you can create a ton of saved views to help you quickly identify tasks that are due that day, overdue, do that week, tasks that are for a specific client or have a specific status and so much more. So the example that I'll show is for the managers in the room. Let's say you wanted to look at a view that showed you every task that was overdue. That way in your weekly team meetings, you can quickly identify the ones that need to get addressed. You can select overdue from the drop down due date, save it as a view and mark if you want it to be a private view just for you or firm wide. You can give it a name and save it. And now you're going to notice that from this drop down, you have an overdue task section that you can quickly click on so you can see exactly what needs attention, which can be super helpful. Another thing to think about on this section is you can mark tasks off as complete in bulk. So if I was to select all of these tasks, I could easily set the status to done, making sure that we catch up on any outstanding items. This can all be super helpful to make sure that you are running efficient month end closes. Now our fifth and final tip is bulk closing. Now, 
In this example, I only have one client on my close page. So let's pretend that we had 10 or 15 or even 50 clients that you work with. Rather than starting the next month's close for each individual client one by one, in the top right corner, you can actually bulk create closes for all of your clients at once, which is really helpful. It gets everyone on the same page. Now, do not worry. Just because we're starting next month's close does not mean that it is deleting or closing out anything from the prior month. You can always toggle back to it and mark it off as complete later, but still be proactive and start on some of the newer items. So if I select create, I'm going to do a bulk close. And now I have the May close showing. Notice that the month rolled over. I can start selecting a new status. But if I ever want to access any of my older month closes, I can either click the drop down arrow here and select that particular month, or I can go to the open section and there it is. And just like that, we've made it to the end of the video. Appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Send us a message by clicking on the purple widget and make sure to check out the description of this video because we're going to include some links that will be super helpful for you. Take care and see you guys next time.